Hi everybody, it's Tadia and welcome to another reading vlog. Today is Tuesday. I think this vlog is going to be a weekly reading vlog. I don't know. I feel like this week I will not be vlogging every day, so we will see. Yesterday, pretty much all day, I was reading Don Quixote because I was very, very much behind and I wanted to kind of read a little bit more. So I managed to finish the first part and now I'm finally, <laughs> I'm finally at the second part of the book. And today I will start the second part, so this one, I'm very excited. I finished, the first part, the finish was like a little bit, not, a little bit sad, because he finished it with like the signs on the tombstones, what, what, what is it called? Not sonnet, epitaph, with the epi epitaphs on their tombstones. And now I'm just like, I don't know, it was a sad ending for, I mean, the novel itself finished like when they, you know, just normally, nothing like said happened, but just like the very last writing were like epitaphs under tombstones, and it kind of made me, I know, a little bit sad. So, <laughs> yeah, but now since uh, I'm off to the second part, I'm excited. And you see, I'm kind of all practically, practically halfway through the book, which is very satisfying, <laughs> very satisfying feeling. So, yeah, Don Quixote bringing me a lot of satisfying feelings and then my plan for today first i want to go to coffee shop and study my japanese uh and then maybe there like in during some breaks um i will read the invention of moral by Adolf Becker. i'm currently 40 pages into the book this book <laughs> I started reading it and now I have a feeling that Susanna Clark wasn't only inspired <laughs> by Jorge Luis Borges, but she was also inspired by this book. Because like I started reading it and I'm like immediately Piranesi. <laughs> like just the voice of the protagonist. I mean no, these two protagonists are different. But Piranesi was very naive, like a child. And this is like a mature man. Uh, but it's similar, it's written in a similar way. His diary, it's like he is writing in his diary. And Piranesi is also like he is writing in his diary. And Piranesi is in the house and this man is on an island. And I don't know, just the atmosphere and kind of just the feel that the book is giving me is very similar to Piranesi. So I feel like probably Susanna Clark also maybe read this and then she got inspired and she wrote Piranesi. So I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just kind of my guesses <laughs> because just the feel is very similar. Yeah, this this book is very strange also. He's on this island, but he is on the run from the police. And the island is very strange because people, it is known to be like poisonous island. Before he came there, he met this one man, um, kind of merchant because he was looking for ways to get to the island and the merchant said that the island is poisonous people everybody who tried to stay there for some time they kind of they lost their nails like on the fingers and toes and they lost their hair and something's happened to their skin like it's a poisonous island so our character still decided to go there now he is living on this island for like a year already and he is living on the marshes and there is a house like in the center of the island a big house another thing that reminded me of piranesi house um it was also like art pieces and like empty house like no one is living there but at the same time he starts seeing these people and this woman with whom he becomes not obsessed but he kind of falls in love with her and he wants to meet her but yeah it's all like a very weird situation like he never interacts with these people so you don't really know if these people are real and this woman if she's real at this point i don't this book is very like mysterious so we will see but a lot of people call it like a masterpiece of plotting so i guess the plot should be something really incredible so i'm excited to finish it i have uh, 60 pages to go so i hope i will finish it today finally and then i will start something new so this is the plan for today i hope i will take you along we will study some japanese together and we will read also the invention of moral together and then in the evening i also want to read some more of don quixote Maybe I will manage to read 40 pages. I read 40 pages for so long. Yesterday I read like, I don't know, 40, 50 pages. And it's practically all day. 
You see, I'm very slow reader. It's okay. It's okay. I would love to read faster, but I cannot. I don't know why I cannot. I read slowly. Every time I learn it about myself. Just the fact. Anyway, I will study a little bit, then I will have lunch, and then I will go to coffee shop to study because I need to study some Japanese. I also forgot to mention another thing why this book reminds me of this book is because the sea on the island is also always rising and it threatens to drown our main protagonist just the same as Piranesi so you see like there is so many similar things and allusions and I feel like did Susanna Clark also was it like an allusion to this book like the sea raising and the house and then I want to finish this book and see how, like, how it can be connected with Piranesi now. <laughs> I'm very curious. <laughs> so yeah, this book, these two books, like, in combination. Interesting. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to finish, hopefully, today. <laughs> But today is Thursday. I haven't updated you in quite a while, but I am in such a reading mood right now, which I'm so incredibly happy about because I haven't felt this reading mood like in a very long time. I've been reading, but I was kind of pushing myself to do that because like I, I need to read 20 pages today of Don Quixote. I need to read this book today. But whenever I push myself, I don't really like manage to read a lot. Like for example, I still haven't finished The Invention of Moral, even though like 100 pages. Still haven't finished it. Uh, but I am on page 84 currently. So I will finish it today because like, I'm feeling like finishing it. Also, I felt like maybe I need to read something Russian. Maybe I want to read something Russian. So I started reading uh, this book, Prashenia s Machora, so Farewell to Machora by Valentin Rasputin. I've just started it. I'm just, I'm page 28. It's very much... I feel like this book would be so incredibly hard to translate. Not because of like topics of conversations, because it's village, it's Russian village, these people don't discuss anything extraordinary, but just because of their language, because this book is very much like this Russian village language, R Russian village kind of speech. It's not a dialect, but it's just the way they pronounce their words, the way they kind of put these words together in a sentence and how they sound, how their speech sounds. It's very much, it's very similar to how my grandmother spoke, for example, or how my father speaks, spoke to her, because my, my grandmother and my father, their, their family, my father's family comes from village. So that's how they kind of speak. And it's just so, it's very heartwarming to read this speech to me because it's like it's the way my grandmother spoke it was it you know it just kind of warms my heart and i'm really enjoying it but however i don't i have no idea how somebody would translate it into english maybe they would use some local dialects as well probably like, i don't know some local dialects i don't know which local dialects, dialects whatever local dialect that also sounds like kind of simplistic dialect that like very common very simple people used probably that would be a good way to go to use like a local dialect but i'm very curious to see actually i i want to try and see the translation like english translation i would be interested to see how people translated it because it's, it's hard i it, it would be hard i think so yeah i'm reading prashanya smachori i am so much like the this edition, I love this edition. Like, if you are Russian, if you can read Russian, if you learn Russian, or you know, if you read Russian, Russian literature in Russian, I would highly recommend you these editions. Like, they're very beautiful, they're very small. Like, compare, for example, to this. You see, it's very small, and it, it, it they have the most stunning illustrations. Every edition, like, because they have a lot of, like, Russian classics in these editions, they have different 
um, artists for each story and so like style of each artist fits the story so for example if you for example see these pictures right it's like a very rough unadorned kind of rough unadorned un you know very simple kind of watercolor drawings right so they're not they're very rough like if you look at them look it's a very rough you see it's a very rough kind of painting and i feel like it fits the story so much because these people are also very rough unadorned super simple they they are how they are they're just simple very uneducated people and i feel like it's you know it, it really fits the style of the story and it really fits the characters so i am very impressed actually with this edition i will be buying more books from this series so yeah i'm currently reading it and super enjoying it and also don quixote yeah i read 20 pages every day i'm currently where where am i i'm on page 485 Can you see? Yes. 485 chapter 5 of the second second part see, i'm a little bit more than halfway through it feels very satisfying it's very satisfying i'm more than halfway through don quixote cool feels very good also yes i'm really enjoying my edition because like look at it look at it it's very very floppy it's like you can you see? No, 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 it doesn't produce any wind, <laughs> so you cannot use it as a fan, but it's very comfortable to read. So yeah, I'm enjoying my books. I will finish, at least, Invention of Moral. Also, I'm thinking I want, to, after the Invention of Moral, I want to start something interesting. Okay, okay, I will first finish and then I will come, I, then I will come back to you. this on the phone because my camera died but i decided instead of reading i want to watch an old soviet movie <laughs> that's what i'm doing these days i'm watching soviet movies i'm just in the mood for like old soviet movies not all of them are very good not all of them but some of them ju they're just like a pen on this english expression there is a russian expression like a balm on your soul I don't know if it's an English expression. Like, balm on your soul. That's what we say. It's like when something just so good for you and it feels so good to do or watch something. So this is the case with these movies. Currently I'm going to watch my favorite one. It's a romantic one. But it's just so, so good. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. And then, before sleep, I'll read Don Quixote. But for now, movie. Ну, это зависит от разных обстоятельств. 
an interesting thing about uh, old Soviet movies is that they are about working class, working people, like, you know, no, you know, no special people. I mean, there, there are some people, some, uh, there is a famous movie about uh, spy, <laughs> there's like one. Normally, like, usually they're just about working people, and that's why you will also see, like, a lot of factories, for example. Like in this movie, for example, they will show you the factory. There's another movie where it will be like a construction site and they will show you all the construction site and all of the like shots from the factory are very interesting actually. Very interesting to see how it was, maybe how it still is. I don't know, I've never been to a factory. Uh, so yeah. was so good. The best part about this movie is that they're about simple people and kind people. And they're just workers. There are no supermans. <laughs> there are no super agents. <laughs> they're nothing like that. They're just simple people. Just factory worker. Just a teacher. Just a driver. And it's just their life. And it's it's just so heartwarming <laughs> and everybody is so kind and also the sense of the community that they have in Soviet movies how everybody is together how the whole country is a community and they're working towards one goal and they believe in themselves and they believe in their country and they believe in what they're doing like it's not there anymore <laughs> just not there anymore and watching at these people just so good i like I, I love these movies these movies are so good old soviet movies are the best so yeah it was a good movie i really liked it i really enjoyed it I have just finished reading Eaton From by Edith Wharton. <laughs> this book, I finished it in a day. I finished it in a day, I couldn't put it down. 
I finished it today. I start, I like, I started yesterday, but like very little, just a few pages, and basically I finished the whole book today. It was so, it was so good. It was I really, really liked it. But it's also it's so tragic. It's so tragic, and it's. I am not supposed to like it because there is no hope in this book. Uh, but. I guess what I liked are the characters. I guess what made this book for me were the characters. Because Ethan is just such a wonderful character and you just feel for him. You really you're you are you are worried for him. You like him. He deserves better than he gets. For me it was so sad. Same goes for Matty, the working girl in um his house. His wife is terrible. His wife is just a disgusting woman. How she behaves and what she does. However, she kind of redeems herself. In a way, she redeems herself, I guess. But I really couldn't stand the woman throughout like the biggest part of the book. You really wish better for these people. But at the same time, you understand that there isn't any better like there is no opportunity for them to have a better life without money which they don't have so yeah this book is tragic this book is just heartbreaking but also it's so compelling like i i, I really could not put it down and it was so so interesting to read so yeah Ethan from highly recommended highly highly recommend such a good book i still have don quixote to read for today so that's what i will do i will read 20 pages of don quixote today everyone it is snowing it's the first snow in tokyo i'm so happy it's a very gray day and the snow is just falling and melting but still i'm glad see it doesn't stay strange tree still has flowers and it looks like it's going to have even more flowers because you see it's like new white ones are appearing so it looks like it will have even more flowers in the end of january that's what i mean by having new flowers looks like it's going to have a lot of flowers pretty soon interesting hi everybody i just want to finish the look and i want to update you on my reading because i started reading a few days back started reading the day the leader was killed and i finished it yesterday yes there was monday so today is, today is tuesday morning i just want to finish the vlog i never finished it um, i read this book on sunday and monday i really enjoyed this i'm glad i found this author this is nagib mafuz so he's egyptian author and he's writing about uh, events in egypt when one of the presidents i forgot his name I forgot his name avar al sadat in 1981 when he was murdered and we follow a story of these two families actually one family but um three characters one is an elderly man a grandfather of one family his grandson and his grandson's um fiance so the young people they have been um engaged for a very long time they they were engaged since they graduated school However, because both families are very poor and they have no money and they have no way of earning the money, like they work, everybody works, parents from um, the grandson's family and the elderly man's family work all day long, the grandson himself works all day long, the grandfather receives some um, pension, but even all of their incomes combined, the family still has only barely enough. To, to satisfy just their regular needs, like food, 
some appliances for the house, some cleaning for the house. So it's barely enough for their life. And of course they have no money to spare, they have no money for their son to start a, to start a new family. And the same situation is with uh, the, the grandson's fiancé. That family is also very poor. And this book is kind of a commentary on corruption in the government, how a lot of people are getting rich very fast. And of course they're getting rich through corruption, through st by stealing money. And at the same time we see the struggles and how the family and young people especially, how they're in trouble and they have no idea how to solve this problem. They call it our problem, like the absence of money and the absence of the opportunity to get married. They call it our problem. And so they don't know how to solve it. This book was very interesting and it was super easy to read. I flew through this book, like I, it was super easy to read. I really enjoyed it. Chapters are very short, which is also a plus for me because if a chapter is short, I read the book faster because I'm like, I can read one more chapter. I can read one more chapter. And so eventually I just finished the book. So yeah, I really enjoyed this book. I would highly, highly recommend it. I still have two more books by Nagib Mafuz. I have his The Final Hour, which is something about uh, elderly couple, I think. Yeah, I don't remember what this book is about, but something, something about elderly couple. I think this will be the next book I read. And then I have three of his ancient Egypt um, novels, which I'm super excited about. So yeah, Nagib Mafus, I'm super happy and super glad that I got introduced to him, that I read his books. So I'm very much, I really very much enjoyed it. I also realized that I forgot, <laughs> I forgot to tell you my final thoughts on the invention of moral. <laughs> so I will just tell you, tell um, about them now. I really enjoyed this book. Uh, compare if you if you compare it to this, I think I enjoyed this more because it's it's just I guess, I guess just more realistic. Maybe that's why I enjoyed it more. However, this book is also very interesting, and at the same time, it so much reminded me of Piranesi. So much reminded me of Piranesi, and I have a strong suspicion that Susanna Clarke read this book and she got inspired by this. This book are different. I'm not saying like that Piranesi is plagiarism or something. I'm just saying that this book inspired Piranesi in in a way. So. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. It was super interesting. You can see it said on the back that the book was inspired by the author's uh, obs obsession with a certain American actress. And you can certainly tell, like, um, in this book, uh, we follow this young young man who is on the run from the police. He has committed something, but it never it's never said what he actually committed. Or I think maybe he didn't even commit. Maybe he was wrongly accused. So he is running away from the police and he runs away to this island which is famous among the locals for being poisoned because everybody who has ever stayed there died and they died in a very specific manner like they started losing their hair they started losing their nails they started losing their skin afterwards and that's how they died our main character decides still to go there and he starts living on that island, on the marshes. There is a house there, a house and some, some other buildings as well, just like a few buildings. He lives there alone, he also knows how to navigate the island. It, it, it also, just like in Piranesi, is um, endangered by flooding and by... Um, Tides. So it's practically the same danger as in Piranesi. Eventually one day he sees people whom he has never seen before. He, he didn't see how they arrived. He doesn't know who those people are. And he, among those people, there is a woman with whom he falls in love. And he starts following her and he, at first like secretly, he wants um, to meet her eventually. And so I will not tell you more because like I don't want to spoil it, but it's also the narration style is similar to Piranesi because we kind of we slowly 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 understand what is going on in what is this island, what is the history of this island, who are those people, like the revelations come slowly, gradually and like in Piranesi. So that's why I also thought that like Piranesi was inspired by this book. So yeah.
I really enjoyed it. I would highly recommend it. It's actually invention of moral. Moral is an allusion to actually Moreau, so Island of Dr. Moreau. So these three books, Island of Dr. Moreau, The Invention of Moral and then Piranesi, they're like so much tied up like in my <laughs> imagination, <laughs> in my head. So I feel like I, after I read this book, maybe I need to give The Island of Dr. Moreau another try. <laughs> I think I will. Maybe I should try and read it in Russia, in Russian, in, in Russian translation. I feel, I, I think if, if I will read it in my mother tongue, will it affect my enjoyment? Because obviously it will be easier. It will be much, much easier. Like I will not have to think about the language, I will just read it. I, d I don't know. I wonder if reading on your mother tongue affects your um, enjoyment of the book. I don't... Uh, I need to conduct an experiment. <laughs> Maybe I will conduct an experiment at some point. Uh, so yeah, The Invention of Moral. I would highly recommend this book. I really enjoyed it. I want to come back to it. I feel like when you reread certain books, you will find a lot of Easter eggs and they will uh, provide you even more enjoyment. And you will see, you will feel like you understand them much better. So yeah, I enjoyed this book really a lot. It was great, and I highly recommend it. This is the end of the vlog. Thank you very much for watching. I will start. I will start editing it now because it needs to go up on Thursday. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're reading very good books and you're enjoying your books in general in his labyrinth. Uh, so I started this book. I also have. Um, still need to read Prashenia's Maturi, so farewell to Machora. So and also of course Don Quixote, three of my current books. And after I finish either of these, I think Prashenia's Maturi maybe I will finish faster. I will start my February TPR. <laughs> okay, so now have a good day, have a good time, enjoy your books, and I will see you soon in my next videos. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.